Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. This large wall canvas clock photo was sent to me by an Instagram follower to see if I could recreate this clock using inexpensive materials. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be using two 20 inch hula hoops and I'll be removing the wrappers from both. Next, I'll be removing the pebbles from inside the hula hoop. Once that was done, I'll remove the connector and glue back in with hot glue. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. I'll use mask and tape to hold them together. Next, I'll be placing 18 inch markings on the top and on the bottom side. Next, I'll be placing four markings on both hula hoops so I'll have even positions. Once I was satisfied with my placements, I'll remove the tape. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Next, I'll be using large skewers and dog nail trimmers and I'll be cutting my skewers three inches long and I'll be cutting four. I find when using dog nail trimmers, I'll get even cuts. Next, I'll be using my hot tool and I'll be making holes where I place my markings previously and then I'll be placing the skewers inside and holding them in place by using hot glue. Once I was done, I'll add hot glue on each tip and then I'll attach my second hula hoop. Next, I'll be using strong foam board and I'll be measuring and cutting to the sizes that I need and this will be for the center of the hoop base. Next, I'll be rounding out the two inner edges by using a two inch round mirror.
Next, I'll be using my long ruler and my box cutter to cut straight lines, and then I'll use my X-Acto knife to round out the inner edges. Once I cut two that I needed, I'll use hot glue to glue them together and this will be to make it much stronger and sturdier. Once I was done, I'll add hot glue on each end of the hoop and then I'll glue it in the center. To make my inner and outer edges smooth, I'll be using my sanding block. Once that was done, I'll flip it over and I'll add two large skewers and I'll cut them to the size that I need and this will be to add more support. And the next part will be optional. You may leave your edges square or choose to round them out. I choose to round them out for a better appearance. Next, I'll add two coats of Mod Podge because I am planning to spray paint this and this will protect the foam board and it'll give it a better shine. Once it was dry, I took it outside and I spray paint two coats of metallic gold. And stay tuned for my fall and holidays DIYs coming soon. I'll use my metallic pen and a 5 inch round mirror and I'll trace half circles on each end. I previously cut a 5 inch circle from foam board and I'll be tracing it in the center. Once I was done with my tracing, I'll be using duct mirror tape to cover the 5 inch foam board. I needed a small circle in the center, so I'll be using this sponge brush and I'll trace a small circle. My recommendation is to do this before you cover it with the gold mirror tape. Once that was done, I'll glue it in the center. Next, I'll trace each half circle with hot glue and this will prevent the Mod Podge from spreading over. Next, I'll apply a generous coat of Mod Podge on both sides, staying between the lines. Next, I'll be applying gold tint crushed glass. And before it's completely dry, I'll be adding iridescent glitter for extra shimmering. The 
also glued on double strips of bling wrap around the edges. So I'll be attaching fairy lights on the back side and I'll be holding it in place with the gold mirror tape. Next I'll be attaching the clock battery pack and also the handles. And this is very easy to attach, just attach the battery pack and in the front continue screwing each piece with no gluing required. Here is the finished look. I am so glad I took on this Instagram request because this clock turned out beautiful and it was very inexpensive to create. Who will ever imagine just by taking two hula hoops, some foam board, and some crushed glass, and you'll have a beautiful creation. Let's not forget that beautiful shimmering and lighting that will bring into that special place in your home. Please leave a comment below on which one is your favorite, the request or mine's. And here are both clocks standing side by side, theirs and mine. And you can see that are very similar, but mine has my own personal touch and you also can see the difference in prices. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY request as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish and turn on your notifications for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.